morning students class 10th standard mathematics subject chapter 13 surface areas and volumes let us see the example 9 selvis house has an overhead tank in the shape of a cylinder this is filled by pumping water from a sump which is in the shape of a cuboid the sump has dimension 1.57 meter into 1.44 meter into 95 centimeter. The overhead tank has its radius 60 centimeter and the height 95 centimeter. Find the height of the water left in the sum after the overhead tank has been completely filled with water from the sum, which had been full, com full. Compare the capacity of the tank with that of the sum. So, near, what is given in the question? Selby house has an overhead tank in the shape of a cylinder. So, Selby house la vandhi enna pannraanga na? Aungal ta oru tank irukki. And the tank vandhi enna shape la irukki na? Cylinder shape la irukki. Clear? And the tank la ullu water vandhi sump la vandhi pump pannhi aungal enna pannraanga? Fill pannraanga. Clear students? And the sump oday dimension enna dhe? 1.57 meter, 1.44 meter, 95 centimeter. So, that is dimensions. So, dimension, three dimensions. The sum is the cuboid shape. Overhead tank is the shape of cylinder shape. Sum is in the shape of cuboid. The length 1.57 meter. Breadth 1.44 meter. Then the height is 95 centimeter. Length and breadth are in meter. 95 means centimeter. So, unit must be same. You have to convert the centimeter into meter. Clear? Then the overhead tank has its radius and the tank could be radius in 60 cm. In the shape of cylinder shape of the radius 60 cm and the height is 95 cm. The tank could be height of 95 cm. We have to find the height of the water left in the sump. So, we have to find the height of the water left in the sump. So, we have to find the height of the water left in the sump. So, we have to find Anna, and the sump one day pretty full complete air water la. And the sump la and the water enna pantranga pump and ni cylinder shape la bulla tank transfer pantranga. Upper remaining water irgit and the sump la. And the sump la bulla water level ode height in yama fine manaporo. Here are students. So now next day enna kanabrikano compare the capacity of the tank with that of the sump. So capacity of the tank ayo. Capacity of the sump by in a panano, compare panaporo. Clear. So first tank. Tank was in the shape of a cylinder. Cylinder radius 60 centimeter, height one 95 centimeter. So centimeter is converted into meter. We have to divide it by 100. Okay. So 0 0.6 meter radius, 0 0.95 meter height. Then the sump is in the shape of a cuboid. Well, length 1.57 meter, breadth 1.44 meter. Then the height is 95 centimeter. We have to convert the height in meter. It becomes 0 0.95 meter. Solution listen. The volume of the water in the overhead tank equal to volume of the water removed from the sum. Okay. Volume of the water is the tank. Le, volume of water is the tank. equal to the sum. Water equal to sump. What do we do? Sump is water pump and cylinder transfer. Clear? So, the remaining water is equal to volume of water in the overhead tank is equal to volume of the water removed from the tank. Tank is removed from the tank. Equal. What do we do? Sump is water to the cylinder shape of the tank transfer. Clear? First we have to find the volume of the water in the overhead tank. Okay. Overhead tank could be volume and then can be Tank in the shape like is cylinder shape. So volume of the cylinder is pi r square h. Pi is 3.14 where r is 0 0.6. R square means 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 where height is 0 0.95 meter cube. And that's volume that all meter cube apply. So this is the volume of the cylinder. Next we find the volume of the sum is in the shape of a cuboid. Okay. 
So the volume of a water in the sump is cuboid shape. So volume of the cuboid is length into breadth into height. The length 1.57 into breadth 1.44 into height 0.95 meter cube. Then we find volume of water left in the sump. So the sump is the volume of water left in the sump. That is the volume. That is the volume of the water in the sump. Volume of the water in the sum minus volume of the water in the overhead tank. Correct? Sum level of water in the tank level of water in the sum. Volume of the subtract in the sum. Remaining water left in the sum. Volume of water left in the sum. Volume of water left in the sum. Equal to another. Volume of water in the sum. Sum level of water in the sum. This value. 1.57 into 1.44 into 0.95. அதில் இது சப்ப்பிராய்க் பண்ணப் போரும் சிலிந்தர் உடைய வாலிம் சிலிந்தர் உடைய வாலிம் என்னது இங்க 3.14 into 0.6 into 0.6 into 0.95 சொன்னும் multiple these two get 2.14776 minus 1.07388 then in left hand side volume of the water left in the sump is given that in the shape of a cuboid so for volume of a cuboid is length into breadth into height So, remaining water level is height of the water. So, height is unknown. So, length is 1.57. Breadth is 1.44. We find the height. Okay. So, H is equal to these two are in multiplication. It is transposing to RHS. It becomes divide. Okay. In right hand side, what is the value? If you have the value, you can subtract the value. 1.07388. So, the height will be given. In the value on the divide it one row. So, either and a product panne ringa. Product panne the divide panne ringa. Now, we'll do a height or a value. We'll find one here. Where height is 0.475 meter. So, this meter is converted to centimeter. So, we have to multiply by 100. Because 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter. So, the height is 47.5 centimeter. Okay. Next, find the capacity of tank and capacity of sum. Okay. So the capacity of the tank is 1.07388. Already we have to find. Capacity of the sum is 2.14776. Okay. Then we have to compare these two capacities. Capacity of the tank by capacity of the sum. Tank would a capacity in the value. Sum would a capacity 2.14776. That you divide you get 1 by 2. Okay, so from this we observe that the capacity of the tank is half the capacity of the sum. Tank kebdi irukkudhe, sum pavuda half of the volume irukkudhe, clear? So capacity of the tank is half the capacity of the sum, clear? Then example 10. 10. A copper rod of diameter 1 cm and a length 8 cm is drawn into a wire of length 18 meter of uniform thickness. Find the thickness of the wire. One copper rod is and the copper rod is in the shape of the wire. Cylinder shape is in the cylinder shape of the copper rod. The diameter is 1 cm. And the length is 8 cm. Length is the height denoted. Okay. So, Length is 8 cm. Is drawn into a wire. So, இது என்ன பண்ணது நான் ஒரு wire ஆல் இலுக்கப்படுது. அதுடைய length எவ்வளவு இந்த wire உடைய length வந்து 18 meter wire உடைய length. Okay வா. அது எப்படி இருக்கு நான் uniform thickness இருக்கு. Uniform நான் equal thicknessல இருக்கு. Find the thickness of the wire. அந்த wire உடைய thickness நான் find மனப் போரும். Clear? See the solution. Volume of the rod is equal to volume of the wire. Okay. Rod one in the shape layer, cylinder shape layer. Then wire one in the shape layer, cylinder shape layer. Volume of the rod is first find one row. Volume of the rod one in the cylinder. Volume of the cylinder is pi r square gauge. Where pi is pi. Then r is diameter of one. Upper radius is half of the diameter. Correct? So one by two. R square means 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. Then length is height. Height equal to 8. You have to cut. You get 2 pi centimeter cube. That is volume of the rod. Next given length of the wire is given. That is 18 meter. 
So we have to convert it to centimeter. Okay, you know, volume of the rod is centimeter. So the meter is centimeter. Convert it to 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter. So 18 meter equal to 1800 centimeter. That denote the height. Then we find the volume of the wire. Pi R square H. So pi is pi, where R square is unknown. Then height is 1800. Okay. Then we equal to the equation 1 and the equation 2. Equating the equation 1 and equation 2. So that is volume of the wire equal to volume of the rod. Okay. Then pi into R square into 1800 equal to 2 pi. Where pi and pi are cancelled. Clear. Then when R square can be written as this multiple becomes divide. So 2 by 1800. It cut by 2 tables 1 by 900. Where R square is 1 by 900 means where R is 1 by 30. So R is radius. Thickness denotes the diameter. Okay. So we find the diameter. Diameter is the thickness of the wire. Diameter equal to 2 watt. This is the formula. So 2 into 1 by 30. 2 is cut by one time, then 30 is cut by 15. So, remaining 1 by 15. So, the diameter is 1 by 15 centimeter. Therefore, the thickness of the wire is 1 by 15 centimeter. Example 11. A hemispherical tank full of water is emptied by a pipe at the rate of 3, 4 by 7 liters per second. How much time will it take to empty half the tank if it is radius? 3 meter in diameter. Sorry, 3 meter in diameter. Okay. So, hemispherical tank full of water is. So, hemispherical tank is full of water. Full of water make panir kanga. So, on the water vande, or pipe balia vande, empty it. Abdina kali pandranga. Clear? So, adi yevlo. Second la pandangana, per second ke 3 4 by liters of water one the belly agad. Per second ke 3 4 by 7 water one the end up and rangana the tank land the kali pandranga. Question in a fine manano how much time will it take to empty half the tank? So panda hemispherical tank pan the full arke and the half of the tank paraku para the ke yevlo time ago. Clear up. So, on the tank is diameter 3 meter. So, that's how we find it. How much time will it take to empty half the tank? Clear students? So, we find the time of the tank. The tank is the volume of the tank. So, we find the tank is the volume of the tank. The tank is the volume of the tank. The tank is the volume of the tank. The tank is the hemispherical shape. The volume of the tank is equal to 2 by 3 pi r cube. Okay? This is the formula. So, 2 by 3 into... Pi value 22 by 7. Where R diameter is 3. Per radius is 3 by 2. 3 by 2 into 3 by 2 into 3 by 2. You have to cut this. You get 99 by 40 meter cube. So, it is the volume of the tank. Full tank is volume. We have to half of the tank. We have to empty the tank. Okay, so half of the volume is the So, half of the tank is empty. Okay, so for half into volume of the full tank, that is 99 by 14 meter cube. It becomes 99 by 28. You know, 1 into 99, 99, 2 into 14, 28. That is 99 by 28 meter cube volume. We know that 1 meter cube equal to 1000 liter. You know, water one the other one, liters one. Clear, so the meter cube is change one liter. For 1 meter cube is 1000 liter. So, 99 by 28 meter cube means into 1000 liter. So, 99 into 1000, 99,000 by 28 liters. Three, four by seven liters of water is emptied in one second. One second ke in the pipe level of water vandhu move agadhe. Three, four by liters of water vandhu veliye varudhu. This is mixed. This is improper. 7 3 is 21 plus 4 25 by 7 liters of water. Per second, you can Per second. Okay, so, 1 liter. This is unitary method. 3 4 by 7 25 by 7 liters of water. 1 second. Per one liter. 1 into 3 into 1 second. That is 1 into 3 into 1 second. 
7 by 25. This is how we have to multiply it. Clear? So, we have to have a volume. 99,000 by 28 liters of water will be emptied. 99,000 by 28 into 7 by 25. Clear? So, if you cut it, 7, 9, 28. Cut it 4 times. 4 into 25 is 100. So, 99,000 by 100. If you cancel it, 990 seconds. நாமக்கு timeல கேட்டனாலா, இது நாம் என்ன பண்ணும் minutes convert பண்ணும். okay, 60 seconds நேவில்லவு 1 minute, that is 1 minute equal to 60 seconds. clear, so இந்த second நாம் இதா convert பண்ணும் minutes convert பண்ணும் 60 யலை divide பண்ணிருவிங்க. so 990 by 60, so கட் பண்ணும் நமக்கு minutesல கடைக்கிது, the minutes value is 16.5 meter, so how much time it will take 16.5 minutes, okay, thank you students.